mainstream part of the anti-cancer treatment uh, during the lifetime of the patient with cancer. 60% of 70% will receive uh, will receive the radiotherapy. So the main point is the radio resistant for the cancer cells. This picture is showed that the test <coughs> the experiment by the Professor Munro in 1971. He used uh, he used the alpha partial to irradiate the irradiate irradiate the cell uh, for the first experiment is the irradiate the was the uh, irradiate the, the nuclear and uh, the other irradiate only the uh, plasma. So <coughs> he the result showed that when the nuclear irradiated the dose of Q cell is one hundred times to only irradiate, irradiate the plasma. But if we see the alpha partial to the nuclear when irradiated only the plasma, there will the low dose distance of uh, three, uh, two to three mu m and the zero dose to the nuclear membrane also have uh, had the two to three mu m. So there, there were four to five mu m distance uh, not irradiated around the membrane by alpha partial. And the mitochondria rather indicate that the mitochondria mainly surround the nuclear. This is the, the mitochondria. So we, as we know, mitochondria single strand DNA branded protein is not only involved in the regulation of the material. And the mitochondria of logical and uh, function, but also closely related to the cell growth, cell metabolism, and the cell cyclic response to injury and the cell survival. Our previous study showed that high expression of MTD <coughs> six-strand DNA in radio-resistant cell line. So this. So in this study, we want to test the hypothesis that if mitochondria strength set uh, binding protein is related to the radio sensitivity and may be a novel markers for the radio sensitivity. In this study, we <coughs> the radio biologic function of MTD SSB was investigated by the RNA inference in uh, lung small lung cancer cell nine. Uh, we do this experiment to test the hypothesis. Our results show that first, mitochondria single strand brand lockdown increase the radio sensitivity in the lung small lung cancer. And first, uh, the Western blot showed the MTD DNA, uh, MTD, MT Strength, uh, single strand brand protein is decreased by I, <coughs> SRI. And uh, the clonal formation C showed that MT SSB knockdown increased the radio sensitivity. The SFA2, well, the 0 0.5 and the 6, 0 0.6. This is the uh, cyclone of different uh, radiation dose. And the 10, uh, 
and 14 days later, we calculated the clone, uh, which more than 50%, 50 cells. And we also tested the cell population and the cell cycle. Uh, MTSSB lockdown inhibited the cell proliferation but have no effect on the cell cycle. And uh, also we find that in SI MTSSB group there has more apoptosis and uh, DSP. DSP is uh, showed in uh, Gamage 2 x 4 c And uh, further investigate showed that empty SSB lockdown increased the mitochondrial number in this cell and uh, detected by the meat track red. MT SSB lockdown also reduced the MT content. This is the interference groups. And lockdown the MT SSB protein increased the reactive oxygen synthesis RS indicated by the little SOX red. And also MT sync strength breakdown lockdown reduce the cellular ATP centrifuge <coughs> production in these cells. This is the standard curve and these the results showed decreased ATP concentration in the interference groups. So our results indicate that uh, MT SSB lockdown could enhance the radio sensitivity of cell cancer cells by the reducing the cell preparation and more apoptosis and uh, increase the damage, uh, the uh, double strand uh, breaks in the nuclear and decrease the empty DNA content and uh, ATP concentration. And moreover, the more ROS to this indicate the MM MT strand <coughs> single strand protein binding protein may be a lower predictor predictive biomark or, or sensitive target for radiotherapy. So the mitochondria and the MT DNA may play uh, important uh, roles in radiation induced response compared to nuclear DNA. Uh, our further study uh, is uh, ongoing to find the mechanism of this. Uh, this is our group. Thank you, attention.